Hey, Arthur. Forgive me now. Hey, Arthur. Always like that one. Yes, Arthur? Sorry there, Dutch. Oh, Lord! What is this? What is it, Arthur? How you gentlemen keeping? Sorry for interrupting, but I can't stay much longer over there. I mean, I love the girls, but my Lord, they complain a lot. I mean, I've known worse than this. I was born into worse than this. Most of us grew up hungry and scared and alone, one way or another. And here, we usually got food and we usually ain't scared. Hey, Arthur. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. 
Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. <sighs> okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stick. have the best ones. Oh, well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Put your saddle on him and let's go. What's taking so long with this saddle? Come on, I promise you don't want to ride that one bareback. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Don't be scared of him. Yeah, okay, boy. Let's go, boy. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny... He could never Need have worked. Gun. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with ah. them, too. Nonsense. We'll be... All right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he 
He's all right. <laughs> hey, now, partner, we don't want any more trouble for you, okay? Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big fruit. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I sure you. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. too shabby.
right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. You won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, I'll say. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code, and he knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scout. Watch out! I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike? I don't know. He's effective in his own way. Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you... Get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. <laughs> I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Hurry up so okay. we can get going. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay. Let's go. Okay, boy. Let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, 
Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. All right! Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Some paw marks here, Hosea. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Tracks, go into those trees. See if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it.
thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Easy. No, it's too cold. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> All right. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Let's see what we got. Reckon I got a ways to go. Getting close.
Friends. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> yes. <gasps> yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank Whoa. you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh, what'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh, oh yes, mister, please. Thank you. I live over in Annisburg. No problem. Would you mind? There's not space enough for me on the horse. Find my own way. Yeah, that's it, boy.
ready to stay no. faster. Help! Let him go. Hey, hey, isn't that? <coughs> Shit, it is. Arthur Morgan himself. Uh, uh. Oh, no. Mr. Excuse me, partner. Hello. Yeah. You okay, boy? I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it well, easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch easy, you? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Pretty boy, pretty boy, you're kidding me. Pretty boy, 
in the mud. Make it rip up. Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Oh, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen. Always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Lord above. Come on, please, please, somebody, be generous. Show you care. Come on, please, somebody. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> I hope you don't <coughs> harbor a grudge against me. I hope you're not here to cause more <coughs> trouble. Hello, Hello sir. sir. Well, you're just full of charity, ain't you? Well, I'm just... Trying to help where I can, sir. Or interfere. <clears throat> you would have killed that man. What I do is none of your damn business, okay? Okay, okay. <coughs> okay, sir. <coughs> Give more! Please! Prove we ain't a land of savages. Prove we're here for each other. That's it. It is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> Hello, sir. So give generously, for that is what this country needs to help each other. Welcome.
So long. Get in quick, folks, before I eat all these chops myself. Hey, partner. Go on. Hey, wait a second. Why should I trust you? Hey, can I get a ride? All right, come up. Thanks, partner. Up here, this is good. Thanks, Dad, partner. All the best. That queasy feeling you've been having? Think that's cause What's your problem? About. <laughs> out of the <laughs> out of my What'd I do wrong to you? Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. That feller needs some more. I hear you. It's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Would you like some extra help there? Sure, why not? Just relax. I'll take care of you. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. Uh, we don't like strangers much in this town. That's how it goes around here. It's been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Really now? I do not like getting older. Yes, I know. Oh, you do feel tense. Aren't you so glad you dropped by?
Are you married? Oh, are we that close to friends now? Well, at least this ain't awkward. <laughs> you were something else. So what do you do in your free time? Hmm, well, walks outside town are kind of nice. You seem more relaxed now. All right, I think I'm good. Okay, maybe we'll cross paths again. Are you trying to get a rise from me? Well, hello. Please come in. Evening. Okay there? Back for some more provisions? Have a look around. Big Tom is still in a bad way from that fight.
Oh, That's all right. Look. Have a think about it. Make it quick. We're shutting down. Howdy, partner. Whoa! My apologies, sir. What's the matter with you? Nothing much. I think you need a long walk, friend. Okay. I ain't looking to cause problems. You're clumsy. And what do you think you're doing here? Hey, wait a minute. We've been looking for okay, you. Okay, take it easy. All right, we'll get this all cleared up at the jailhouse. New patron. Welcome. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today?
All the trouble in Valentine of late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Oh, yeah, never mind. Here. Worth a shot.
You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Essential, I reckon. Don't listen to the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Just remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that though. Damn. Hey, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. In there, I wouldn't pull him out of an early grave. No, sir. That a fact. Not shoot anyone, okay? Well, right down you go. Okay, boy.
Oh, shit! Bruises don't look so bad. Oh, yeah. That fight was nothing. Yeah, you left me to deal with the big guy. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Shut up. Arston? Uh-huh. Morning. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. We gotta get some food soon, Arthur. Food or money, or these bastards will eat up. I know, Dutch. I'm trying. I know. You want? Oh, man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Lots of room to play in. Why are you so close, Uncle Arthur? Morning, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Sorry, got nothing for you right now. Oh, hello. 